I used to think addicts could turn their lives around through willpower alone. I have learned the desire to recover must be backed by the necessary supports to empower people to reclaim their lives. The foundation takes a novel approach to battling addiction, transforming lives through the sport of triathlon. Youth learn to trade a destructive addiction for a healthy one. I don't feel that way. And so you're using the language used to be an addict. We see as an epidemic is just a blip. That's just caught our attention. So people talk about opioid epidemic. So addiction is an endemic problem in our society where opioids are just a blip. Friends are precious and bound together by a kind of eminent complicity. What they look for first of all among themselves is an affirmation of the universe they have in common. Collectively, they find strength to shake off their chains. Oh, I love that. And they compare experiences. And when you think of, of going into treatment, it is like shaking off the chains. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just very grateful um, to be where I am today, and I'm extremely grateful for the people that I have in my life that um, have supported me and, and that just never gave up on me. Um. I know that there are many different paths to recovery, but no matter how people achieve recovery, their lives and the community are improved as a result. When the government and the community and the corporate all work together, when we synchronize our energy, miracle happens. We can do more together and that being able to talk about it and being able to have tangible tools and being able to understand a little bit more that it affects every one of us. It's not just somebody out there. It's real, it's next door, it's our families, it's our friends, it's ourselves. So what can we do? So yes, we can and I think yes, we can together. Terminator Foundation, of course, has been very big on exercise and also nutrition has been mentioned. Whether it's substance addictions or process addictions, we are all subject to and being vulnerable to addictions. If I could ask the members of the community we serve for one thing, it would be to remember that despite wearing a uniform, we are all still human beings underneath it all. We are not robots, and while we are and very well should be held to a higher standard in professionalism and representing some of our core values, such as integrity, compassion, respect, and fairness, we are not perfect. It's something we can do a lot better at, and um, I think this is the start of a conversation that um, that's going to start changing lives. And uh, we're working hard to change lives every day in what we do, but thank you again for everybody being here.